Students, we have done this question before, but today I'm going to solve these questions with a different method. The previous method was horizontal method, and today I'm going to use, I'm going to introduce a new method called column method. Okay, let's see how is it. Solution. First, let me write this. The first expression, 5x plus 4y plus 5z. Okay, in the second expression, we have minus 4x plus 7y minus 6z. Okay, so in the first term, we have here x. In the second term, we have here y. In the third term, we have here z. But for the second expression, what is the first term? Minus 4x, x to power 1. So in which term you find x in the first term? So even this minus 4x, let me write in this way. Next, we have y. Here also y, okay. So plus 7y, plus 7y. At the last, we have minus 6z, minus 6z. And the last, we have minus 7x. So let me write here minus 7 x and then minus 4 y and then minus twice z we are trying to keep here x x x y y y z z z okay now we are going to add let us see how we are going to add these are all having x x x with the power 1 1 1 that means these three terms are like terms 5 x minus 4 x minus 7 x these three terms are like terms. We have to arrange in this manner. Okay, let us see. 5 minus 4 minus 7. How much we'll get? 5 minus 11. Then we have here minus 6. So I'm going to write here minus 6x. Okay, so what about the next one? Here we have 4 plus 7 minus 4. 4 and minus 4 we can cancel then finally we get plus 7 here so let me write here plus 7 y in the third at the third we have 5 minus 6 minus 2 then we have 5 minus 8 that means minus 3 so i'm going to write here minus twice z you might solve with the horizontal method or color method but still then we'll be getting the same answer so this method is what we call color method and the previous methods were all horizontal methods only. So we'll move to the next question. Here is the question. Solution. 8x square plus twice x plus 4. This is the first expression. The second expression is minus 5x square plus 6x minus 8. Okay, so this minus 5x square, I'm going to write plus 6x minus 8. And the, at the last, we have minus 2x square minus 4x minus 7. Okay, let us see. So here, 8 minus 5 minus 2. We have here 8 minus 7, that means 1. So 1x one square means you can just write x square, nothing wrong. Okay, next, we have here 2 plus 6 minus 4. That means 8 minus 4, we have here 4. So, plus 4x. Why plus? Because this is positive. So, here plus. Next, we have 4 minus 8 minus 7. Then we have 4 minus 15. Then we have minus 11. So, minus 11. So, this is the answer.